So Gavin and I are here at Second and Charles. They sell music, they sell vinyl, they sell CDs, they sell comic books, they sell games, they sell books, they sell all kinds of things. And so we're gonna go in and check out, see what they have, and hopefully we find something good.
All right, so all in all, I would say it was a very successful trip for the most part. I did not pick up any vinyl. You know, when I go there for vinyl, they either have really great new stuff or some of the older used vinyl that they have tends to be picked through or scratched up and beat up. So I really wasn't going in with the highest of expectations, but I will say I was very happy uh, with what I got as far as CDs go. Somebody apparently unloaded their Deep Purple collection, which I was happy to take advantage of. First thing I got was uh, In Rock, which I already have a copy of this, but it's the remastered copy. This was the original issue of this album. And I'm one of those people that I like getting the original pressings, even if I have the remaster. Something about just the collector in me, I like getting the older pressings of these. I have Burn on CD also, but this was an original pressing that I got, so I was very thrilled. And only $4 for this, an original CD pressing of Burn. Also got the Battle Rages on, which was only $5. Um, had a copy of this, but not an original copy. Part I have was part of like a 3D CD set. And then what I was most excited to see, and especially for the price, this was only $5. And I've seen this on eBay for well over $20. Uh, this was an original CD pressing of Stormbringer, finally. I had this on vinyl colored vinyl, but I was waiting to get the CD and I didn't really want to pay over 20 bucks for this, but this was actually made in England, uh, according to the sticker. And again, I got this for five bucks. I cannot believe it. So I am super happy about that. And then the last thing I got, I did pick up Kiss Alive on CD, which believe it or not, I did not have on CD. So I was glad to get a copy. This was the original, uh, Obviously, the original pressing of this, but it's in great shape. And the jewel case even is in spectacular condition. So, no vinyl to pick up today, but still, what I got with the CDs, I was very happy with. And I don't know, I, you know, I'm hoping that people like these record store trips. I don't see a lot of them in the vinyl community, so I don't know if it's just, you know not a thing most people are into but i've gotten a lot of feedback on previous videos about the, that there are people who because of the pandemic are not able to get out to the record store so hopefully this is a way to kind of vicariously experience some crate digging and record and cd shopping so anyway hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching